What's going on guys? Today we're going to be installing these grip puppies on my 2017 Husky 701. They're supposed to reduce uh, vibrations a little bit and they're supposed to be like waterproof and everything. Also, they slip on over your existing grip so you don't have to cut or remove your old ones. So this is going to add a little bit of girth to the grip. I have, uh, you know, bigger hands, so I like a little bit bigger handle to grab onto. Now somehow the previous owner of this bike got the hardware a little mixed up. On this side it's a T30 Torx. On the other side, it's a four mil Allen. So uh, not sure exactly which specific socket you're gonna need on your particular bike, but I'm gonna need to remove both of these bolts for the bark busters and move those down so we can slide these on. Don't lose that piece. All right, now I'm gonna remove these donuts because I never ride without gloves anyways. And by removing these, I can get more of the grip puppy on there. So these are five inches wide or five inches long, if you will, and they fit grips that are inch and a quarter to 1.45 inches in diameter. And they are trimmed to fit. As you see, I do need to cut mine a little bit. Uh, you especially need to be careful on the throttle side because it needs to twist. You don't want it binding on a bark buster or anything like that. You can mark it. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. Try a pair of scissors here. Measure twice, cut once. <laughs> I'd rather start small and go a little more after. All right, now I'm gonna take this rough edge and I'm gonna put it towards the inside up against here. So I have a nice clean ending here. Gotta take a little more off here. There we go, that's pretty pretty gosh darn close. Now they say to use just a little bit of soapy water uh, on the grip or on the inside here to help slide it on. You don't wanna use too much because you want the little amount that's in there to be able to evaporate and then eventually cure to this. You don't wanna to have too much slimy soap in there, otherwise it'll never uh, fully set. So I've just got a cup here with a little bit of water out of the faucet, put a couple pumps of hand soap in it, and I'm just going to take my finger and kind of rub the inside of the grip. All right, swing this out of the way. I'm gonna put the rough edge facing in, like I said, and I'm gonna go ahead and try to stretch this over it. I don't know how well that'll work. Pull up the edges if you need to, if they're rolled over on each other. And that's pretty good. It wasn't too hard to get on there. It's a little bit thicker, like I said I wanted, and it should reduce some vibrations. So now you can reinstall this piece if yours fell out like mine did. It's gotta go the opposite angle of this piece, just like that. Push this all the way against the handle and get it started. Just snug it up, you don't have to over tighten it. It's just a small bolt. You don't wanna snap it or strip out the aluminum. Now, as you see here, I probably could have gone a little bit lo uh, longer on this. I didn't necessarily have to take that last little piece off that I did, but it's not like I cut it way too short or anything. So that's, that's fine. My whole hand still fits on it. Now we're gonna repeat the same steps on the throttle side. Give this one the same soap treatment. And again, put the rough edge on first. You may have to unroll the leading edge here, like I'm doing, as you slide it on a few times. There we 
we go. Again, reinstall your piece in here if it fell out. Now for this one, I'm gonna sit on the bike because when it's on the kickstand, this piece slides way into the handlebars. Again, push the end in while you tighten it and don't over tighten. Make sure the throttle can rotate freely. You don't want any binding, of course. As you see there, there's no problems. I will post these down in the video description if you wanna buy them. And that is gonna do it for this video, guys. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below with any questions. Check me out on all my socials. Also subscribe for more videos like this. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.